What's up, Blue Chips? So I'm going to start off by saying I was absolutely not myself today. Feel free to go check out the live stream for any of these trades and you will see just that. But we did end up going five for five. So let's get to it. All right, so real quick, I just want to start. I haven't mentioned this in a while, but there is a little bit of catch to it. The ISW scanners that I use day in and day out to find every single one of my trades, there is a link in the description down below for up to 30% off lifetime. And right now through the end of the month, if you do go check it out and get the platinum scanner package, you will get one free week in the ISW room. So you get to pick the brains of all of us in team ISW for an entire week. That is just an invaluable addition. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did, but it's a valuable addition to the already awesome scanners that you'd be getting. So on to our first trade here on IVR. As you can see, this one was pretty typical. We had the previous resistance here at $4 around that whole dollar. Uh, we got in on the spike through it and it just so happened that we didn't feel like we were getting too much more and we ended up taking it off at 420 for a 13 cent gain. So that was the first trade. Obviously, it wasn't it not feeling it too much because there was really no reason to get out of that thing. And we initially were putting orders in down there towards four. And for some reason, we just didn't hold on to it. I'm again, just it was it was an interesting morning. So then we went over to Oxy. Uh, this one had a nice previous resistance as well, right around the whole dollar 13, get a nice pop up through. We actually, I think we're only looking for this resistance kind of right here. You can see there was a little bit of resistance form at 1330. But as this was coming down, we actually only meant to take half of our shares here. We had had an order in and I, I guess when we put the order in, it was for all of our shares. And before we put that order in for all of our shares uh, for a cover order, we actually had changed it to 15. So after we put the cover order in, I guess I never changed it back to 15. And so when I went to cover half my shares, looking to let the other half continue down towards that previous resistance, we ended up covering out the entire position. So again, that was number two, uh, when I was just like, what is going on this morning? Then we go over to pins, P-I-N-S. So we scroll out a little bit. We have high of day from the open yesterday, and we get a huge move through this previous resistance of 1460 on the current move here. So we see that nice extension up away from the previous resistance into a double top, right? We are looking for a double top. It popped through, popped through the whole dollar. And I said, wow, this is a really extended move. I'm going to kind of break my rule that I don't play double tops because we're on a really big extended move. We have a nice previous resistance. If this was yesterday's high at 1460, that would be my edge. But unfortunately, it ended up being a double top. And as you can see, we ended up turning what could have been an amazing trade into a trade that we got into early because we played the double top. So we started this thing nice and early, assuming it was a double top. We started in at 1506 and this thing shot all the way up towards 1550. Now that is where we would have loved to get our initial entry, right? We, the extension away from that previous resistance and not a double top. So it would have been amazing if our starter was up here Instead, it was down here. So we ended up fighting this thing just a little bit. Got a nice ad, took off half our shares here. It popped back up and went high a day. Since our average was pretty decent, we were okay with letting this go through 1550, especially because we didn't get like a real pullback. Um, I was expecting this thing to go under 15, at least to try under 15. So we actually added back the shares that we took. It comes down. We took off half again, and then we were looking for the other half to come down towards 15. So now i went to put in my cover order uh, down here towards 15 i think it was 1501 and i accidentally hit when i had everything in the montage instead of hitting buy to put the the order out there i accidentally hit the short button instead of the buy button again mind was completely somewhere else this morning so i ended up adding 15 shares to my position at 14 or no 15 18 and I immediately was like trying to figure out what I did. Thankfully, the price wasn't like whipsawing at this point in time. It was kind of just sitting steady. 
And then I was putting everything together and I realized, okay, I, I still couldn't put two and two together. Like what I did for some, like, that's how far gone my mind was this morning. But I realized that I was in a short position for 30 shares. So I said, you know what? I made a mistake. I can't figure out what's going on that quick. I just hit cover hundred percent position and got out of the trade. So I ended up losing uh, two cents on those shares that I added. Um, but overall it was still a green trade. As you can see, I mean, there's a bunch of red above a bunch of green. So again, every trade so far this morning out of the three that I took were just that. And I, I think right when I took the trade, I said, you know what, I'm going to just completely cut myself off and I'm not going to take any more trades unless something just completely is calling my name. So MITT pops up. Now this one is definitely more our edge, right? No double tops, nothing, all that good stuff. All we have is a nice previous resistance sitting here at 483. So we get the pop up through there and this thing just runs. So I think this is one we took smaller position on. Oh, no, it wasn't too bad. We still took 15 there. So we jump in here at 602 as it went through the whole dollar, looking for that whole dollar to kind of be some resistance or a little bit of a fake out through the whole dollars we see a lot. And as you can see, we were actually wrong. This thing shot up to 650. Um, but it wasn't before this thing came down quite a bit under six. I don't know exactly where to. I wonder if it's 577. And we didn't get any kind of cover there. So I was a little mad at myself. And sure enough, uh, we decided when it came back down and tested six again, uh, it felt like it wasn't getting... I, we actually had an order at 571. And I remember this now and it wasn't getting like we couldn't get down there and get filled. So when it started to pop back up towards six again, we took it off just so that we wouldn't be in a losing trade in case this wanted to continue running a little bit and we would have to play it. So the first time we missed it, it actually went back up. We didn't get any ads. It came back down. It started trying to get through that 580 area again. That's what it was. I remember five A's kept getting bought up and it looked like it was about to push through six again, which it did. It ended up going back up to 630. Um, so it seemed like a good cover in the moment. And it ended up being a bad cover because it never went back towards high day and it ended up coming back down lower. So this one actually wasn't a horrible trade. It just, it was trading really funny. And this was also like a 30 mil float. So I knew it had the capability of running and it was also near a, a possible halt. So I, I just kind of took it off. I, I just wasn't feeling comfortable with it. So a after I shut the stream down, um, PMT kind of popped up here. And this is, again, just a nice standard play. I was looking at it. Um, it was kind of grinding all morning, but then we started to get an extension, right? Right away from the previous resistance around 1364. And we started to get up through 14 and we ended up being an entry at 1440. Now it sucks because if you look at the high of this candle, 1473, we actually thought we hit this when it was at 1460 right? That thing dropped 20 cents. Just like yesterday, we got that horrible fill. Today, we also got a horrible fill just on the entry instead of the exit where it dropped 20 cents and we ended up getting the fill at 1440. But the bid, look, I'm pretty sure it said 1460 when we hit it and it dropped to 1440 as we hit the button and gave us the 1440. So immediately we were kind of down 20 cents. And of course, right after that, it popped right back up through 1450. As you can see, it kind of hung out up around the highs here for, uh, at 14. 60 if i can get my muscles there 1464 1465 area and it just, i was like man are you serious but at that point i wasn't too mad because if it wanted to continue to run uh we didn't really have any real pullback at that point so i tried to be more patient with this one my head was i was starting to wake up a little bit more i was my head was starting to get a little more clear i was like i'm gonna try to wait for this previous resistance well we started coming down and i actually put an order at 1401 and we just couldn't seem to get there and uh, it, just, it kept getting bought up like right at 1417. Uh, as you can see, this did get down to 1405. So we missed it just by a little bit and it shot right back up. This thing was very whippy. And so we ended up uh, just jumping out of it at 1420. And as you can see, we weren't completely wrong right away. It did go back up to 1430, but then it did ultimately come down and get under 14 for at least a little, a little bit there before trying to give us a little bit of sloppy seconds here. So not the best days uh quite quite interesting um here was the final tally uh, what happened here let me pop this out for you real quick so we ended up uh five for five we were green on all of the trades uh just not exactly what we, we could have made so much more from each of these trades today so a little unfortunate there but we're not going to be too upset with it right um if we're feeling like this, uh, like I said in the stream, every professional athlete has a game or match, whatever they're doing, a race, where they're just not 
there 100 percent. they're just not feeling it and that's exactly how i was this morning and we're just going to move on to tomorrow right we're going to try to shake today and be glad that we were still green we ended up going five for five i can't complain about that and we're going to move on to tomorrow so until then guys like and subscribe i always appreciate that support if you have any questions or comments leave those down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning peace